see how as I get to this point the the logo is right between my knuckle on my forefinger and my thumb I'm Mike Sullivan and and you know I guess the reason why you're watching this video is in the long run you want to enjoy the game of golf more and what I would say is people who play golf with a chronically open club face are not having fun so if your club face is square you're going to have fun and the number one thing you can do to help you get control of the club face is to have a proper grip so I'm going to show you a quick little drill that you can do around the house anytime to help you grip the club correctly okay so we want to have fun playing golf that's the reason why we're doing this yeah, let me just make sure we're recording here so yes of course we are playing golf to have a good time and you know it's interesting when i'm when i'm talking to people say in a private lesson and we're using we're using the flight scope the launch monitor and i show them that their their face their club face is really one degree open or one degree close to the path and the path of the club is going within one or two degrees of the target right those small little numbers you're having fun and whenever i say to somebody okay so if your face is square and your path is at the target you're having a good time and they always kind of laugh at that a little bit so because that's what we're why we're doing this we're doing this to have fun so you are going to have more fun with a square face than you are with an open face and when i say face what i mean is if your club face is open relative to the direction the club is swinging relative to the path your ball is going to slice and if you're right-handed it's going to curve off to the right okay so a left-handed golfer if your club face is open your ball would be going to the left and you would be slicing so slices are those balls that move out away from you all right so the number one thing that affects this is is the way you grip the club now there's a little more to it there's some some drills you want to do to have club face control but the number one thing that, that you can do to help make sure you're going to have a nice square club face and have more fun is to have a good grip so here's what a good grip looks like your top hand so for me it's going to be my left hand my top hand I'm gonna let it kind of hang naturally from my the side here and I'm gonna pull the club over I'm gonna keep the club face itself square to my target line so I'm making sure the face isn't open or closed it's square so it's it's perpendicular to my target line these little blue dashes are part of my target line those are on my target line okay and so when I put the club out in front of me my top hand there's this little upside down V and this upside down V points back at my my back shoulder my right shoulder when I look down at this hand I can see clearly and this is without doing all this stuff but just when I look down from setup I can see the the first knuckle the forefinger knuckle I can see the second knuckle my middle finger knuckle and I can see a little bit of the ring finger knuckle all right so those are two checkpoints to make sure i'm holding the club with my hand rotated properly the more knuckles i can see we call that a stronger grip we, we should call it a closed face grip but we call it a strong grip and a strong grip makes it really easy to to, to close the face see how easy that was for me the more counterclockwise we turn our hands so the less knuckles i see so this is a real common top hand grip that we see people have this is a weak grip this should be called an open face grip because it's really easy to have the face be to be open so they're gripping the club more more this way the face wants to be open and the balls are either going to the right or they're struggling to get the ball to go straight so i'd like to show you a nice way to learn how to put your hands on the club and this is something that it's easier to do starting off up here as you get really good gripping the club up on the skinny end like this then you can go ahead and get it down here on the on the thick end so here's what we're going to do we're going to take the club we're going to grip it on the skinny side so i'm going to take my my lead hand my left hand and i'm just going to put it first on the club with the palm basically pointing straight back behind me or the back of my hand pointing at the target is what it feels like i'm going to rotate my hand until this upside down v that line right there until i can see that it's pointing back here towards my right shoulder and i've got a little bit of a cup in my in my lead hand so i'm going to i'm going to rotate around this way a little bit okay so hopefully you can see i'm putting a little bit of a cup in that wrist take this watch off 
right? So I've got a little bit of cup in that wrist. A weaker grip would look like this. So we're looking for that. Okay, so that is the number one thing that people have a hard time with, is getting that, that cup in their, in their lead hand. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just move that down a little bit, and I'm gonna take my bottom hand, my, my trail hand, my right hand, and I'm gonna put that on, and now I'm gonna get the palm of this hand pointing at the target. This is more intuitive. The trick is doing this without getting my hands opposing like this. I want the palm working straight at the target and I don't want to change this hand. Now you'll notice if you've been playing golf for a little while, you probably have an overlap type of a grip where this pinky slides down here or you have an interlock type of a grip. I like to overlap so I'm going to take that pinky and slide it between the ring finger and, and my middle finger here. Excuse me, forefinger, middle finger, boom, just like that, all right? Now the other thing that's happening is as I put this, this top hand on, right, is I'm gripping this club m much more in my fingers than most people would intuitively like to do. This is big. Most people want to grip the club really in the palm here, and we're going to grip it more in the fingers. So when we're holding the skinny part of the club, it's a lot easier to do that. And I'm gonna just, just it's almost natural, right? You're gonna wanna grip it more in the fingers of this trail hand, for right-handed golf or your right hand, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my overlap working, or you could get your, your, your interlock working. All right, I'm gonna go with the overlap, all right? So you can just sit around the house, stand around the house and practice putting your hands on the club on the skinny end, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're, after a while, you're gonna go ahead and just practice getting, keeping that same rotation there. So there's my, my top hand. Here's my bottom hand. Do my overlap. And then there I go. And now I'm ready to go. Okay, so again, start off both hands on the skinny and just work with just work with that just practice with that and you can the club face is really close to you You can see if it's square or if it's open or if it's shut okay then work on get your left hand on first or your top hand on first so if you're a left-handed golfer that'd be your right hand work that down and the whole way I'm able to see the whole way I'm able to see I've got that cup that cup going in my wrist. See how as I get to this point, the, the logo is right between my knuckle on my forefinger and my thumb, and I'm just gonna keep going with that. Okay, and you can see a little dash right there that goes between the thumb and the forefinger. And then I'm gonna take my trail hand, get the palm matching up the club face, slide that down. Right there. Now again, you can see I've got that little Golf Pride logo there between the thumb and the forefinger of my trail hand, my right hand. And now we're ready to go. And now it's gonna be easy to get the club face closed. Okay, so now you can hit your shots and you'll be able to get that club face closing. So we're gonna have fun with a square club face, which means if we can grip the club properly, it's going to be a lot easier. I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.